My name is Daniel Monforti. I'm an application engineer with Regal Technologies, and today I'm going to be covering an Internet of Things, specifically on a Nordic NRF52 development board. The products that we'll be using for this demonstration is the DSA815 TG Spectrum Analyzer, which has a range of 9 kilohertz to 1.5 gigahertz. It also comes preloaded with the signal capture software onto it already, and we'll be using the near-field probes to capture the signal from the NFC. We'll be covering the NFC, or Near Field Communication Technique, which is mainly used for Android Pay and Apple Pay at the moment, but is capable of lots of different functions and capabilities. It uses the 13.56 megahertz bandwidth to transmit information from a transmitter, in this case on our Nordic board, and generally to a phone or some sort of mobile device. Here our Nordic board is transmitting a signal to display the Regal NA website onto my Android device. This is our new website that went live earlier this week. Since we're using NFC capabilities of the board, we're going to have to set our center frequency of our spectrum analyzer to 13.56 megahertz. And then just to verify that this is the actual signal being transmitted from the phone and the device, I'm just going to place my phone over the NFC. As you can see, the signal was captured by the spectrum analyzer right at 13.56 megahertz. And it did display our website once again. Since we verified that the center frequency is 13.56 megahertz, I'm going to go in and go into the measurement function. Then I'm going to go into the second, second window and hit signal capture. This is going to black out the screen on the spectrum analyzer, but it's also going to be putting it into the signal capture mode. Once it's in this mode, we can actually go into and set on the 2FSK feature, which will actually display the values on the lower table. It will also allow us to see more of the nodes being present during the signal, um, when the signal is transmitted. As you can see, we're not just getting our carrier frequency, we're also getting uh, additional other frequencies as well. It just adds to more information that you can know if you have the um, signal capture function of, on the scope as well. Now I'm going to take this out of the SSC mode and I'm just going to put it back into its normal mode. From there I'm actually going to show you zero span and show you how to actually capture a signal and see actually bits being transmitted with this spectrum analyzer. I'm going to first put it into the 13.56 megahertz frequency then I'm going to go set the span to actually zero span then I'm going to set the amplitude to 20 dBm as the reference. Then up in the control area, I'm going to select the sweep trigger button and actually set the time to 400 microseconds. And then over in here, I'm actually going to increase this span to 1 megahertz. And then back in the sweep trigger function, I'm going to set this down here to from free run to actually the video function, which is only available in the zero span option. At this point, I'm going to display the bits actually being displayed that are being transmitted from the Nordic development board to my phone to produce our website on the phone. As you can see, we're getting lots of bits being pushed through. So with this option, you're actually able to see the data being pushed through. As you can see, the DSA 815TG is a great spectrum analyzer for testing NFC, remote control toys, and key fobs. The TG was not necessary for any of the testing seen in this video, but it's a great feature to have for in the future testing VizWare capabilities of antenna or using the tracking generator feature. All of the Regal products seen here come to a total of just under $2,300. If you have any questions regarding these products or other products similar to it, please contact us at Regal. Thank you.